Howdy folks, this is just a little information video. Um, it's also aimed towards Richard Vobes, if, you, uh, if you've been watching Richard Vobes' channel. He's a very, very interesting chappy. Um, anyway, so some things that he's been talking about, uh, this actually leads on to it because he's touched on things like the corruption in education and the problems that we're facing at the moment and also everything that's gone on over the last few years since March 2020. Now, I've been talking about this being the ground zero for the corruption inside university education. It's called the Bay Dole Act. Now, two men, Mr Bay and Mr Dole, in 1980, they created a piece of legislation in America that basically allows universities and any institution that receives government funding to be able to patent any type of discovery that they make. So, for example, since that happened, the pharmaceutical corporations have muscled in on university scientific educations and medicine, etc., and they've basically then steered the education towards making... Uh, pill sales people and, and discovery mills out of all the students. So if a student makes a scientific discovery or any type of discovery, it could be mathematical, it could be um, engineering, any type of discovery whatsoever, this act allows the university to effectively snatch back the research from the student, slap a patent on it so that they're the only ones that can do anything with it, and then nine times out of ten, they sit on the research so that no one else can actually progress anything. And that's what they've been doing. Whenever a student makes a scientific discovery in medicine, if those discoveries are a conflict of financial interest against pharmaceutical corporations, and it's something that's so important to talk about because people don't realise what's been going on in education. I mean, if you're looking at what's happening right now, we've got this transgender, um, well, trans agenda, if you like, with all these men dressing up in women's clothes and dancing and twerking and sexualising young children, which is disgraceful. And no, it isn't the same as a dame from a pantomime back in the old days when we were kids. But um, I just wanted to, if, if anybody can direct this video towards Richard Vobes, because... It's something that he really ought to look into and um, it'll be a bit of an eye-opener for people. So it's discovery mules out of uh, medical students and it's also fashioned them into uh, medicine and pill sales people. Because one more point, every time a new medicine or treatment comes out, well, in fact, it's got to be medicines because it's a product, they put a patent on something and then they'll run that medicine all the way through till when the patent ends. And then when the patent finishes, that means that any company can start manufacturing it because effectively it's now off patent. And what's then happening is these pharmaceutical companies are then announcing that this medicine was either no good or there's problems with it or it might be dangerous. And then it magically gets taken off the market so that nobody else can really do anything with it. And then they bring something else out, which might be very similar, but just different enough to end up warranting a new patent number. So there you go. The Bay Dole Act of 1980, the ground zero into the corruption of the medical and discovery and patenting side of university education.